After surgery, I tell all the patients, from now on, this nose belongs to me. So, please keep my nose in a good position. Keep away from, if you see some people who are playing football, don't go close to them. If it's under the sun, you know, in Turkey, we have strong sunshine. Don't stay long under sunshine. Or don't jump to the sea during the first year after surgery. So they try to protect their nose. If there is someone is fighting, stay away from them. And I always advise them get out of the trauma possibilities. A lot depends on the surgical technique that you did, as well as on who the patient is. So the, the two have to come together. If it's more a like a pure functional rhinoplasty where the person isn't a highly stressed individual and asks you a hundred different questions, if they haven't been packed inside the nose, pretty much some of those people are happy to two days later go back to work with a splint over the nose, etc. However, it's the opposite side where we're sitting with problems. People are highly intense, complete cosmetic, etc., etc. Then we've got we're dealing with a different kettle of fish. However, the single most important thing is make sure you take the prescribed medication. Make sure you are putting antibiotic ointment in your nose. Make sure that you're flushing your nose. That, that's just a no-brainer. Don't go and start doing exercises especially exercise that's going to have some type of like a Valsalva maneuver. So you're starting to do weights or something like that. A gentle stroll down the side of the road is great. So I say to people in many ways, carry on with a normal life. Just a little bit less exercise, don't stress yourself out. You need to understand you're asleep anything between two and three or four, even five hours. So you're gonna be exhausted. So take that week to have a break. Don't try and now suddenly get back to work and carry on, a rhinoplasty is like meant to be a once in a lifetime operation. So to just think you can just carry on with your life, I think is, is not wise. And normally what happens is that first day or two is the worst because then all the swelling takes place and they are in discomfort because it's uncomfortable to have something on your nose and in your nose, etc. But they should not be in agony or pain in any way.